Hey everybody, welcome back to, uh, I mean, not welcome back, but introducing to Python Tutorial for Beginners. W introduction. Now what is Python anyways, you may ask? Python is a popular programming language. It is used for web development, server side, software development, mathematics and system scripting what can python do python can be used on a server to create web applications python can be used alongside software to create workflows python can connect to databases database systems it can also read and modify files. Python can be used to handle big data and perform complex mathematics. Python can be used for rapid prototyping or for production ready software development. Why Python? Python works on a different works on different platforms aka which are Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, etc. Python has a simple uh, syntax similar to the English language. Python has syntax that allows developers to write programs with fewer lines of code or fewer lines than some other programming language. Python runs on an interpreter interpreter system, meaning that the code can be executed as soon as it is written. This means that prototyping can be very quick. Python can be treated in a procedural way, an object-oriented way, or in functional way. Good to know, the most recent major version of Python is Python 3, which we shall be using in this tutorial. However, however Python 2, although not being quite updated with anything other than security updates, it is still quite popular in this python to in this tutorial python will be written in a text editor actually it is written in the ide so uh, no my mistakes it is possible to write python in an in integrated development i in integrated development i environment aka ide such as Tony, PyCharm, NetBeans, Eclipse, etc., which are particularly, particularly, really useful when managing larger collection of Python files. Let's make let's make a head start. Let's start by making our Hello World project. So over here. You can see my mouse cursor and and this is the code we are going to be using. So that's the end of the slide. Let's now head up over to PyCharm. Now I'm going to uh, let's close. Now let's make room for PyCharm. And over here, let's click a new project. And over here, you can, over here I'm using PyCharm. So you need to also install Python. But in Ubuntu Linux, it is no problem because it is already installed. Over here, you can type 
If you are in Windows, you can over here type Python. And over here, I have Python installed. I have Python 3.7 to be precise. So enough of all the Windows tinkering, tinkering, and so you can install by watching other tutorials, and also use and also download PyCharm from other tutorials too. And then now let's click on new project again, and let's maybe call this hello. Let's maybe call this hello world. And over here, you can leave this as it is, or otherwise you can we choose an existing interpreter if you have one. I don't have any, like Conda or PPNV. I'm just going to use the main settings as it is. Also, create a main.py welcome script. I personally don't recommend this and now this is created now you see it is creating virtual environment it may take some time depending on which virtual environment you're using it takes less than a minute I think yes I think so So, uh, Python is actually a very easy programming language. You're going to learn it as soon as possible if you can. So, yes, it always takes a long time for this to make and see. It is actually saying something. It is downloading these pip packages. Now I'm going to show you how to install Python in an in in the next video part. Uh, you it is very easy. You just uh, have to do one option, click, click, then you're done. Now over here we are in our project. First click on here and then lib, oh sorry, it is, of course, let's over here, let's create a new file, let's click new, python file, let's call this hello world.py. And over here, it is analyzing the code, which is, of course. And over here in the presentation, it said print. And then, then semicolons. I mean, uh, curly brackets. And then, and then double quotes. Hello world. Hello world. Now you don't need to put any semicolons, otherwise it will input an uh, error. Now as you can see, it is showing uh, two warnings, but it is not. It is a warning. Don't worry. Now you have to just right click and click on one. Your f and then. Hello world. Now there we have it guys. So hope you like this video. This is a very simple Python project. So uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Goodbye.